Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer on this Good Friday, March 29th. I'm Spencer. I'm the Congregation Priest Associate here at Washington National Cathedral, and I'm grateful if you find us this morning or whatever you may be and wherever you may be. As we begin, I invite you to find a space where you feel grounded even for a moment, that in God's creation, your feet are firmly planted, your shoulders, your heart, your mind, and your spirit might be unburdened, offering to God whatever is on your heart to be broken open for us. As we begin, I invite us to take a deep breath, to center ourselves and prepare for prayer and worship. Almighty God, we pray you graciously to behold this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross, who now lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray together a portion of Psalm 22. I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My heart within my breast is melting wax. My mouth is dried out like a potsherd. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. And you have laid me in the dust of the grave. Packs of dogs close me in, and gangs of evildoers circle around me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. Be not far away, O Lord. You are my strength. Hasten to help me. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And as we gather up those things that are on our hearts, our minds, or our spirits to God, let us pray now in the words that Christ taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. A lesson from the Gospel of St. John. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four parts, one for each soldier. They also took his tunic. Now the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from the top. So they said to one another, let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see who will get it. This was to fulfill what the scripture says. They divided my clothes among themselves and for my clothing, they cast lots, and that is what the soldiers did. Here ends the lesson. On this Good Friday, we hear the story of Christ suffering, crucified, and dying. But we hear this snippet now where Jesus is stripped where they cast lots for his clothing, where he stands 
completely vulnerable to give up everything for the world. And so here we stand. Sometimes we feel exhausted from our journey and we're ready for resurrection. We're ready for joy. We're ready for chocolate and flowers and family and food, but not yet. Because here we are, not rushing to the end. Here we are, witnessing the indignity of Christ being stripped of everything he is and has. Our Lord is laid bare to be nailed to the cross to suffer, and so we strip bare our hearts and our souls, not for the sake of suffering for suffering, but for the sake of seeing what we have cast off in this one nailed to the cross. What we have laid down only to be picked up and broken open for us in the death and the hope of resurrection to come. This is the deep breath. This is the ringing silence. This is the time of anticipated grief and expectant joy. And so we wait, stripped bare. We wait in grief and in quiet, in wailing and in moaning. We are in the midst of it all. And so we offer prayer. We offer prayer where Jesus is stripped by Padre Gotuma. Jesus of the flesh, naked you came from the womb and naked you were made for the cross. What was designed for indignity and exposure you held with dignity and defiance? May we do the same because you needed it because we need it. Amen. And so we pray. O Savior of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us, save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, we pray you to set your passion, cross, and death between your judgment and our souls, now and in the hour of our death. Give mercy and grace to the living, pardon and rest to the dead, to your holy church peace and concord, and to us sinners everlasting life and glory. For with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign one God, now and forever. Amen.